have that potential to go ahead and loot up and then head there to contest. OUG's Mike here next to Frostivis. Frostivis with the blue armor already in a lead here over Mike. Mike gonna find the white armor though and able to go ahead and swap straight into that. Frostivis on the receiving end of the staff here right off the rip. We're gonna see the F invested very quickly. Mike just trying to find that charge right click there off the staff. Not gonna find it. It's gonna opt to take a little mini scale rush away and look to do some looting. Frostivis though with the armor swap looking to head back in here while doing some looting and heading in the direction of Mike. Not particularly finding what they want. We'll find a blue armor to swap into, though, as we head over. Sure enough, T225 immediately coming over to contest Wang Liang here on podium. Like I said, Wang Liang on the ballista, though. Looks like they're going to scare T225 away for the moment. T225 looking for the reset going down below to learn what that uh, puzzle is going to be before they come up and potentially take this fight back to Wang Liang, T225 trying to get some loot underneath them before they head up and take this contest as we move back over to Mike Frostivus about us action. Frostivus on the move here. Action going to come in. Mike waiting in the wings, looking for the clean early third party. Massive scale rush by Badaz Action, followed by the uppercut combo into here. The F going to be immediately invested by Frostivus. Mike coming in with a huge parry for the follow-up, though, and this could spell disaster for Alliance's Frostivus here as the third party comes through. Action going to knock Mike away, wants to clean up the elimination. Mike and Action trading blows here. Frostivus will find the armor swap. Lives to see another day for just a moment, but Action and Bauda not going to give up the hunt here as they continue to keep the pressure up on Frostivus. Mike now giving chase as we do see action back off for just a second, but it's going to come topside and keep Frostivus on the move. Frostivus is going to get caught up by that uppercut yet again, and Bauda will claim the elimination as he now looks to juggle OUG's Mike. Mike going to come in with the scale rush, though the freeze is going to come in from Bauda's action. Action trying to get away here, but Mike continues to find hit after hit. Action, though, with the uppercut combo, with the rejuggle off the grapple, will find some huge damage here. The jump into the double left click. The ult's going to be invested. The freeze. Mike's ult will pop here. Action just needs to find another entrance in. We'll find the refreeze up into the uppercut. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Bowdoz Action finds two eliminations right off the rip. What a beast. That was beautifully played by Action. I do, well, I'm, I was going to go and talk about something that happened with Frost of Us. was a slight misplay on his behalf, unfortunately. But we're going back into the action. JJH Star taking down Roy he he and then taking down Spider as well. Two eliminate, no, three in fact, three eliminations for JJH Star off the rip. A very, very good start for him. An excellent way to get that ball rolling in that early game, but we're heading on over to below the podium. CDY is caught between a rock, a thorny roller, and a T225. PST, T225 do manage to team up on him, take him down, finding that good target selection. He wasn't in a good spot and he does get eliminated, but so does T225. And another player now sitting on three eliminations at the start of the game. This has just exploded into chaos and the Justinas are coming out on top. We have two Justinas, we have the Action and PST rocking two and three kills respectively. And now we have uh, that Shyol as well. It's like we've got a quick replay here. PST getting a parry onto a Kame. Getting that parry into cancel with the uppercut on the fan. And we know how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. That fan infinite that uh, is uh, very fun and interactive. I, uh, I'm being sarcastic in case you didn't realize. But uh, back, to, back to what I was going to say before. Unfortunately for Frost of Us, I saw that he was sat below X Shin when X Shin was sat on the wall, grabbing onto it, charging up his scale rush. And Frost of Us... Um, I, I, it could have been um, it could have been a read that he attempted to pull off, where you can grapple a player who's holding a scale rush that's charging up to the blue state. It takes a little while to get to the blue state, but if you grapple them in that charging time while while they well before they release it essentially, then you can actually stagger them off the wall. But if they release it or if they get to the blue stage. And then obviously release it. You're getting you're getting burned. You're getting you're getting blue focused. But I think he may have read action or tried to read action canceling the scale rush because obviously you can cancel the scale rush once it gets to the blue stage and then start charging again, predicting that Frost of Us would would have parried or attempted to parry in that situation. But Frost of Us tried to go for the double mind game and unfortunately there was the the no mix up mix up. 
and Action <laughs> catches him out with that scale rush, unfortunately for him. But uh, after all that chaos, after all of that exciting fighting at the beginning of the game, we've now gone into a bit of a lull period. Most of these players now, the, those who have died, looking to try and loot up as much as they can so that they can prepare themselves for that Realm of Yang. And those who uh, who survived and came out with some kills definitely are feeling very happy with themselves. When you get kills in Immortal War, you uh, receive money in exchange, essentially. You get, mo you get money for killing people, something that's different from the normal Immortal War, on the, the normal rank that we have in-game in matchmaking. Although Immortal War has recently been added to uh, to the game again at the beginning of the season, we didn't have Immortal War. It's something that they do. They just let people get to uh, get to the required rank to be able to play Immortal War, that sort of thing. And now it is open again. So if you are interested in pl uh, playing some Immortal War yourself, you can do so within the uh, within the the time period for your region. But we're heading on over to Podium here, and Spider is getting cooked up by CDY. <laughs> Spider on the move here. CDY with a huge armor advantage on him, and we're going to hear ballista shots coming in as well. Spider going to eat one of those massive ballista shots from above, and CDY going to keep the pressure up. Spider with the gold fan does not want to go down here to Wolves. CDY really wants to keep the game alive, but has got to be careful. That's XCG's Wang Liang, who we saw uh, not win out in podium earlier. Going to head in towards the box there and see if there's any scraps for himself. Not going to find any. Oh, no, man, top himself. side there on, yeah, he just goes <laughs> in let's panda what? man take the shot goes for the ult but unfortunately because of where his health set he's just gonna burn out as we already head into a realm of yang it's gonna be OUG's mike versus j team's pst pst off to a tear here with three eliminations under his belt mike gonna go airborne here looking to find those pistol shots trying to come down there unfortunately clips the edge there and will not find the pole sword onto him pst doing a lot of damage here to mike but mike very quickly turning the tables there with the fan looking to come in here we're gonna see the ult invested on the side of j team's pst T already might gonna look to invest his ultimate as well. We're gonna go airborne here off of the dual blades. The break immediately coming in. Sorry, dual halberds. The re grapple coming through the charged RB. Mike taking a ton of damage here. PST really in control of this. The RB off the fan though, gonna come and do a lot of damage. PST has gotta find an opening here, hoping that that ult doesn't keep the healing going for too much longer. Mike goes extremely That's low. He's gonna find disgusting. the jumping RB off the fan and cleans up the elimination. That's just Disgusting, man. That's disgusting. What the? What on earth did I just watch? What? <laughs> like, Mike literally was just sad, just sad getting comboed for, for like, 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 thirty seconds to a minute, and he just comes out alive, just not really caring. Like, this is zipping in, and the thing is, this is before the glyph changes, but this is before the patch that we have live on servers now. Where she's even stronger. Just just zip things, you know. <laughs> it's just not okay, man. It's not okay. I, I agree with actually you. Actually ridiculous. <laughs> like that's you just absolutely that. absurd. Mike I, I literally say... just sat there and didn't care and just, <laughs> just took combo after combo. And I with a purple pair of cool helmets. <laughs> I mean it was clean. It was it was like he still played it well, but the thing is, in that kind of situation. It's like, what on earth? How is this you fair? Yeah. Justina, <laughs> Justina just used everything, legitimately everything, got maximum potential value, and didn't take him down. With a purple pair of dual halberds. Nah, man, nah. That's, that's ridiculous. But that's uh, the JJ's star coming in and yeah. cleaning up the elimination that, yeah. that we couldn't see the Justina find there. And we're going to see, of course, Mike does have that respawn. Looks like he's thinking about coming back into this third party fight here. You see him standing over on the altar there. 5 2 on Akami starting to get juggled out here by JJH's star, but Alliance's Frosty is coming over the top side looking for the third party. Akami going to go for the parry. Doesn't find it, but the old read comes through. Will find the clean teleport in. Huge damage come through onto JJH's star here. Star, no armor. Half. HP now gonna find it again oh my goodness star gonna be off the read there as Akami finds the elimination but now we're gonna see Mike coming in for the oh, clean Frost. third party but it's Frostivus who actually comes in for the fourth party with the cleanup Mike doesn't find a single elimination here Frostivus needs to be careful though looks for the reset and Mike decides he's invested too much time not gonna come in just wants to loot something off the body and now Frostivus 
gonna come in and do some looting of their own and OUG's Mike knows he doesn't have that safety net does not want to stay here and fight Frost of us while Frost of us has that vermilion birds Mike gonna come over do a little shopping and back away from this situation but Frost of us knows where he is wants to keep up the hunt here or decides to do some shopping rings the bell he does know Mike's there but thinks better of it is gonna keep things moving Duncan I'm still molding. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, this is outrageous. Actually, outrageous. Like, the... moving on. Fine. <laughs> so zipping Ying, uh, very happy with herself. Mike is just, just vibing. He's got a kill. He's got his armor. He's got his loot. And uh, it seems as though the rest of the lobby is in a similar position. Everyone is just trying to. Trying to chill out a bit. They know that those with Yang depletion are, are hunting. They're trying to find that soul bloom for themselves and uh, may have already done so, but they can't really be 100% sure, at least not until the second realm of Yang starts to spawn, as the, that definitely marks a, a certain point where if they haven't already found a soul bloom, they're going to, they're going to be extremely desperate but it's in all likelihood they have already but you know what else is uh quite really interesting here is that frost of us comes out on top in this rubber yang I, I i noted that he had the vermilion birds might off of that immediate start to that fight frost of us getting cooked by the dual halberts managed to find the reset of after having applied enough pressure in the direction of akame akame trying to use his f2 there to mitigate the to mitigate having to parry, mitigate having to uh, gamble on that potential cancel from the LMB Frostivus and reading him like a book on the second time as well, cancelling it and now just playing in the neutral. Frostivus still having his ultimate available, uses it to armor through that stagger from Akame. He does eat the LMB there and it looks as though Akame just wasn't ready to uppercut off of that confirmation, unfortunately for him. And he gets uh, definitely gets uh the, 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 the this is pretty rough <laughs> he, he gets he gets the he gets the nunchucks there he, he he hesitated for a moment and unfortunately it bit him in the bomb it is uh yeah it was not good for him unfortunately but we're going to be heading into the second set of realms of yang and uh i'm going to be surprised if if we don't see all the all the the Farriers and the Zippings trying to get in there. We've got Action on the left-hand side. Definitely looks like Mike is looking to go in. Oh, and he manages to make it in up against JJH Star. And we also have uh, Bowder versus Wolves in the other realm of Yang. With Action up against CDY. That'll definitely be an interesting fight as well. But we're going to be taking a look at OUG's Mike. The, the unkillable, the immortal Mike. Apparently, is there anything he can't die? But he, uh, he, let's see, let's see if he's, uh, if he's able to be taken down here. Definitely a good start for Star. Star getting that huge combo with the, with the Pulse Lord and the Staff. But, uh, Mike just turns around and, uh, uses this, I think it's Martial Art Hook, Martial yeah, Art it's... Will Hook Form, I think it's called. The, uh, Dual Halberts J that's extremely good. The double charge on the Vertical Blue Focus. It gives you a, uh, a very long range attack that's you can hit someone from very far away but uh it can be rather telegraphed when it gets released you just have to be ready for it and you can definitely dodge it at a specific timing but star unfortunately wasn't able to do so lost momentum in this fight he's trying to find it back now he has no more blocks on his ultimate unfortunately for him he does get the confirmation but unfortunately again a player is not ready for their confirmation and gets caught out, but he's ready for this one. Gets that ACCA into the uppercut combo. Trying to get that heaven step going. Oh, but is he going to be able to take him down? I don't think it's going to be possible. He doesn't have time. No, not at all. Mike, again, going immortal in this lobby or in this, in this realm of Yang situation. He did die after with his buff from the previous one, but... I feel in that situation he wasn't really bothered about dying, but that's, that's again, another thing about Zipping, Farrier, and Shyle in Realm of Yang is that it is almost an inevitability that we will see a draw at some point. Yeah, absolutely. Zip just able to really lock that out. And of course, Shyle, you really have to play kind of the keep away game with her during the ultimate as well. So you find those situations 
fairly often, as we're going to see both of these are both JJH's star and Mike heading back to the same spot. Is there a bloom? There's a bloom stashed over here, but it looks like JJH's star is going to reach it first here, and it's going to leave Mike in a really terrible situation. They need to get that bloom long before Mike does. There it is. They're in on it, Mike. No bloom stuck in the zone here. JJH's star may end up griefing themselves out here trying to keep mike from coming back into the zone but time will tell as they were able to get the blue mike mike left this. here with it yang depletion but mike though with the ultimate here gonna be able to heal through so much damage and so much of that zone tick before the healing cut comes through yeah look at star's hp star hasn't even been able to take any hits from mike here and it's just been taking a ton of damage from the zone tick they're gonna end up griefing themselves out here and Mike just gets to take the bloom from them. JJH star with five eliminations under their belt here, turns it on to OUG's Mike instead of trying to break away and it's gonna grief themselves out of this lobby. Oh my goodness. I know you're in a terrible situation. You don't really wanna turn your back to OUG's Mike there, but trying to fight Zip in the zone when you're on Sheol is just an absolute death sentence for yourself. So super unfortunate to see that go down the way it does there. Four star, we've got Baudaz action trading blows here with Wolf CDY. CDY gonna use that cooldown there just to get themselves out of that corner. Action had put them in here. CDY wanting to keep things moving here. Action just keeping the pressure up here. Action with two eliminations under their belt looking to make it a third here and potentially find that huge upgrade here off of cdy from team wolves that purple armor would be absolutely massive for action heading into the later stages of the game but cdy willing to just play this out slow action gonna come over looking for the bounty scroll here so that they can know where wolves is gonna be the entire time sure enough they do get the bounty and it does go straight on to wolves cdy formerly panda man here panda man just playing the slow game out here catches a huge Huge charge left click there off the dagger action forced to freeze out but not before taking most if not all of the damage off that charge left click will cdy gonna use the f invest it yet again to break away here in action on the timer has got to make this work they do have the bounty scroll on to cdy but i'll tell you right now this is not the character i want to be locked onto when i've got a minute left on my yang depletion uh, the zipping just going to try to live forever here outlive action and it keep them from being able to pick up the elimination action here 47 seconds left remaining oug's mike going to show up over the hill and hit him with that legendary pole sword just does so much damage catch the first hit off of that combo the freeze comes through to save action but the question is for how long Long. they've got to run away from this engagement and they have 33 seconds left remaining before they're eliminated they're gonna go out into the zone and try to keep somebody else from picking up the oh. here. but wolf cdy with the pistol shot picks it up from the back and will find their third elimination of the game that's gonna be about us action heading back to the lobby so i have to say the way that cdy plays this is it's uh it's not the fire dog way but I can respect it as he is going up against Action, one of the only Justinas in the lobby. And that's just one of the characters that has the potential to kill him in that situation, or at the least have the potential to put him in a vulnerable situation if some other players happen to turn up, if they manage to come in at the, at the wrong time for CDY here. And he just plays with him around this building. He knows that as long as he stays on the move and doesn't take a position one fight and just, just go ham and just get in there, he knows he's never really at risk of dying here. And I think he could smell the desperation coming out from Action, knowing that there was going to be players out there, knowing that there was going to be a player out there with Yang Depletion. And it may have actually been, it may in fact have actually been the, the player that he killed in the Realm of Yang, because he came away with the win from Realm of Yang. And now that I think about it, Star and Mike were the other two in the other one. So he knew that that Justina had the, had the Yang Depletion debuff. Uh, I'm not sure if Action knew that he was the one, or no, actually no he did, White Tiger's Prize. It's still early, it's still, uh, I caught him, but <laughs> no, he did know, they knew exactly what was happening, and unfortunately for Action, he wasn't able to hold down CDY. He just puts himself in a, definitely a good terrain situation, and here we're going to take a look at the Realm of Yang. Catching him on the drop down with that golden dagger, just doing almost the entirety of his shield. Catching him with another, goes for the pistol shot mid-air, forcing out that ultimate by CDY. 
he's not really in that bad of a situation. He doesn't really get much off of this freeze. And looky here, the damage reduction coming out from the F. He doesn't have the space to go for the full Heaven Step. And it's just, it's all she wrote, really, I reckon. CDY has his F up in less than a second. Boom, takes to the skies, the dagger, the mobility, action. It has one dash left over, but it's going to be it's going to be difficult to find this opening, especially see why continues to play like this. And look there, unfortunately, he doesn't get the dash off the ultimate. It just seems as though it timed out, and unfortunately, he does get taken down, and we know what happened afterwards. We'll get a quick interview. Let's go. What's the what's the hope we got to say? <laughs> See you right here. Our, our boy Panaman is talking about their fellow solos teammate there, Wolves Kai Bao. And, you know, this is something both of them have learned a lot in the last season is playing over their mistakes and doing a lot better. And, you know, it's nice to see CDY supporting his teammate, especially given both of them want to have their screen time, of course, here. Speaking of which, CDY having a very good game today. Uh, BBE's Roy Hee here taking a ton of shots from KLA's T225. T225 trying to just pressure the damage out onto Roy Hee there, that legendary armor, and put in the work. We are going to see that next Bane come through. T225 going to go ahead and D-mech and look to break away here. Does not want to be standing there in the middle of late game Bane uh, during that ultimate. Not a place you want to be. TT25 going to look to break away and start to rebuild that ultimate as GG Shot actually provides a little bit of cover for that. He's going to ult up here just on the edge of the zone and look to create some pressure onto some of these other players and try to keep them within the Bane. You're going to see three of them all back in the corner here because they are not able to transpire away from here without heading it through the Bane. Mike going to find a little corner of his own to hide in. Frost is going to start taking some damage here from the mech shot looking to find those aerial cannon shots waits till frost just comes down will find one finds the second one but doesn't have any more big shots coming from the cannon is going to be a d mech tier with 10 seconds left remaining on the bane we're going to see shot come overhead catch a hit on to t25 and look to break away meanwhile xcg's wang lang still holding on to that ultimate as we do have zone five starting to collapse on to what am i watching right now as we speak <laughs> You, what is, you what, are what, 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 no, what, what am I looking at? Three farriers just moving as a group. Are we playing trios? Like what? Hello? <laughs> like what is this? You, it's, it, it's farriers versus zippings is what it looks like coming down to the end here. What the fairy the? is not trying to grief one another out here as they definitely don't want to see those zippings make it to the end circle. Because if those zippings make it there, the healing going to make it so hard for the farriers to clutch the game out. So a little bit of an unspoken truth going on there. TG New 5 though in the corner, legendary pulsar just comes through. All of his HP and the last little bit of his armor go and we're going to see Mike find the pistol shot to clean up the elimination on the t225 that he's been looking for all game he sends t225 back to the lobby as mike finds his second elimination finally coming through will cdy top side here just looking to hold on to this power position wang lang roy he gg shot down below just trying to break away from some of these range shots wang Liang, nah shots what am i looking at rush up. Oh my goodness, the grapple gonna come through. Mike looking for the setup. He's gonna be forced into the pillar here. Wang Liang gets such a oh chance. Oh my god, oh, CDY that... with the golden pole sword. Wang Liang just needs one more shot on the HP. He's back too, so that the armor is the only thing showing here. Just, oh my goodness, he almost goes down. And while we talk about it, OUG's Mike G finds GG Shaw, who also is weak, down, caught below, and is gonna send him into the zone for the elimination. Mike moves to three eliminations. Wang Liang. Almost no time left on the ult, looking to find some sort of value on it, but he's not able to really land any of these shots. Most of his oh armor is being wicked away while an ult. The cannon shot's coming through. Wang Liang, the hunt Ooh. continues. Whoa, oh. CDY with the pulse sword and Mike with the follow up. Mike and CDY just oh. cleaning up the Farius, sending him out of the lobby. They don't want to deal with it. It's a Faria versus Ziping Yang final zone.
Oh my god. The, the Farriers knew that they were just gonna get hard focused in this endgame, and they they chose to stick together almost to the degree of legitimately just teaming, but they uh, they do eventually get picked off one by one, and now it's the Justina's turn. Justina gets absolutely obliterated, focused down by the entire lobby, and then it looks as though it <laughs> is then they start turning on each other. The cannibals, the zipping cannibals take down Frostivus. Frostivus, unfortunately, not able to survive. Mike finding the pulse sword, scale rush opening onto CDY. CDY has become the next target. The rupture gale flame breath doing so much work here, preventing so much healing from coming out from the zipping ultimate CDY, trying to apply pressure to Roy Hee Hee. But Roy Hee Hee, he's ready for that release from CDY. Y gets that parry and takes him down and now it's left to the one versus one mike up against roy he he goes for the one two three but turns it around mixing him up mike goes for that release and roy he's ready he's on point with the parries ladies and gentlemen that gold dagger coming out avoided by mike but mike finds that opening with the lmb into the zone roy he he in a bit of a rough spot he does have his ultimate available but he's choosing not to pop it just yet he uses the f1 He's still got it up. He's still got it ready to go. He's going to use it for that knockback if he does take fatal damage. And here it comes. Ooh, Mike, Mike opting to cancel out, not going for the fatal damage hit here. Grabbing the weapon instead. Mike trying to... Ooh! Trying to find an opening. And Roy Hee Hee gets parried himself. He looked like a parry machine in that endgame.